Hello there, this is Feb by NoviOptions.com. So let's write here on the screen where we are and what we do here. And in front of us is the US dollar and the Japanese yen pair. As I'm suspecting here, a potential running triangle. A running triangle, first of all, like the name or the, um, yes, the name suggests, ends higher than the beginning of a triangle if you have a bullish pattern or lower than the beginning of a triangle if you have a bearish pattern. In our case it's a bullish running triangle that goes something like this. You have away A, B, C, D, E and then should explode higher. It is important for the A and C and the B to D trend, line to con trend lines to contract. like this. So um, in our case the triangle starts from here and ends above the beginning point or the starting point ends higher. The same is valid with the US dollar and Japanese yen with the move that starts here from a previous X wave And then we have to the downside wave A, then a B wave, all the way to here, then a C wave to the downside A, B, C, in here, with the move on. Friday when the Michigan consumer sentiment basically came way lower than expectations so A, B, C, then we need a D wave but remember here from the A and C trend line if we take the A and C trend line from here to here and we copy it and put it on top of the B wave like this this would be the maximum angle for the triangle not to contract. We need the triangle to contract so our D wave to come definitely must go more than the end of the X wave and not more than this trend line in here because the triangle again needs to contract. So I would favor a D wave that is mandatory to go and take a high above the highs in the B wave there so 120.50 area and then the market to be sold a bit into the but to hold the 120 level for the E wave and then and only then the triangle should be considered completely completed so this would be the D wave this would be our E wave and then the triangle to be considered completely. Basically we need price action to go something like this like this and then to break the B2D trend line and so on and so forth. We will adjust the B2D trend line by the time we have the move higher. In other words no bearishness or no bears for the near future regardless of the fact that the US economic data has been quite on the let's say negative side lately bulls came all over the place on each and every cell bulls appeared and therefore the US dollar Japanese yen still a buying opportunity so what I would like to do here is to go and trade call options with end of week expiration date so for Friday 17 GMT the call option will expire as this triangle again is bullish and not bearish so call options with end of week expiration date basically on Friday Friday is the 22nd of May at 17.10 GMT is an expiration date that is being offered by the vast majority of binary option brokers so that is our pick for 
the expiration date. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.